2022 is an absolutely insane year for crypto markets. Most cryptocurrencies lost 70 to 90% plus of their value within inside of 12 months. And at the end of the year, many people just felt absolutely hopeless. And while there still could be some challenges ahead for the crypto space in 2023, there's some really exciting technological advancements coming down the pike that can be major catalysts for the overall industry and some exciting opportunities to get some free crypto for being early adopters of these trends. And I'm gonna talk about exactly what one of those trends is, how you can take advantage of it and everything that you need to know. I'm going to tell you all that as a blockchain developer myself who's worked this technology on a daily basis for a very long time, watching many of these things come out of nothing. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory. And on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to have to become a blockchain master, step-by-step -step start to finish, break in the industry, increase your salary past 100K, then definitely head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. All right, so let's jump right into this. So Bedrock is the next major upgrade for the Optimism Network that's coming in Q1 of 2023. At the time of recording this video, that's really soon. And in case you don't understand what that is and why it's such a big deal, let me explain. So blockchains face a massive problem, which is scalability. In many cases, they're too slow and they're too expensive for lots of people to use. And this is really holding back mass adoption of the technology, enabling the bigger use cases that we actually need for this technology to be really broadly useful. There's many different approaches to fixing this problem. You can create new blockchains that are faster and cheaper to use that might make some type of trade-off. But the solution that I'm most excited about and that lots of the rest of the industry is also excited about is layer two scaling solutions on top of Ethereum. This is basically where you create a second environment that piggybacks off Ethereum, works kind of like a blockchain, but you still pay the gas fees in ETH. It depends upon Ethereum. And then you do faster, cheaper transactions there and settle them back on the main Ethereum chain. And Optimism is one of the leaders in this space. It kind of goes back and forth between Arbitrum for the number one spot in the layer two scaling solutions. You can see that on a website like l2beat.com. And their next major update, Bedrock, is coming out very soon. And you can see on the site here, it's planned for the first quarter in 2023. So what's the big deal? Well, you know, as a crypto space looks for the next major catalyst, I personally think that scaling this technology can be one of the things that supports the next leap forward and adoption because you know many people came to use blockchains in the past you know during a bull run or something like that when things were really fraught then we thought we were going to the moon and they tried to do stuff and it was just like hey this is way too expensive or like this takes kind of a long time and who's actually going to use this stuff if it stays this way well that's because when you have these you know periods of peak network activity there's too many people trying to use the network at once it's a bottleneck but scaling actually removes that bottleneck so that you could have, you know, tens of thousands, you know, hundreds of thousands, millions, even a billion users. And that's the kind of scale that we need for mass adoption. And as that bottleneck starts to get removed, that pours gasoline on the broader tech trend for adoption. And this major upgrade of the network is the next brick in the wall that sort of paves the way for this. Now I'm gonna get into the dirty details of every single thing that's getting included in the network upgrade later in the video. It's more like technical kind of nerdy stuff. I'll definitely talk about that. So make sure you stick around to the end. But right now I'm gonna talk about the airdrop because that's one thing a lot of people are excited about with Optimism and how you could potentially get some free crypto. All right, so the crypto space is huge on airdrops. This is basically where you get rewarded with free cryptocurrency for being early adopter of a new technology, okay? I've personally been the recipient of many different airdrops, some of them five figures or more okay from things like uniswap one inch exchange ens the list just goes on and on but really you know i was kind of just lucky with these things i wasn't trying to get free cryptocurrency because i was such an early user of these things but now that's the trend if you can become an early adopter of things and kind of guess who's next then you can have some serious upside with something like that and therefore it pays to be an early adopter now you could sit around and speculate on who's next okay or you could just go with optimism because they said that they are going to have an airdrop in the future. So that's great confirmation. But let's talk about how Optimism, they're a little bit different from some of the other airdrops in the past. So most of the airdrops that I've been a part of, like let's just say Uniswap, for example, they kind of wrote the playbook on all this. It was a one and done thing. You were just an early user of Uniswap and every single wallet that you used Uniswap with and made some transaction with, they airdropped everybody the same amount of tokens just one time. It's just one and done, never gonna do it again as far as I understand. But as airdrops have changed, some different strategies have come into play and Optimism is one of the people who's kind of changed the rules a little bit. So they've decided to do a multi-phase airdrop, which means they're gonna do multiple airdrops over time. So if you missed one, you might be eligible for the next. So they already did the first airdrop. You can go and check your wallet if you've already been an Optimism user to see if you're eligible. Though I suspect you've probably already heard about this, but you can see in their documentation, that they have future airdrops available. So you can see here's the details for airdrop one, but they say future airdrops, you know, two, three, dot, dot, dot. They haven't told us exactly how many they're gonna do, but they haven't even done number two yet. That 14% of the remaining Optimism tokens 
are being held for these future airdrops. Okay, so you can see the first one was 5%, and we have basically triple that, you know, just ready to go for airdrops two, three, and, you know, however many else they're going to do. Now, how do you actually become eligible for this? Well, you know, just like everything else, there's still some guesswork involved. You know, we have the benefit that Optimism has said they're going to do future airdrops. We don't exactly know the eligibility criteria for this, but just based on what's happened in the past, you can usually assume that you want to do it before something big happens in the future. And what's coming up in the future? Well, it's the big bedrock upgrade. And I've got a feeling that, you know, if you use Optimism before that upgrade, there's going to be a high likelihood that you're going to increase your chances of receiving an airdrop from the platform. So how do you use it? Well, basically, it starts off with getting onto the networks. In order to do that, you have to use something like a bridge. Okay, this is the Optimism bridge. You can just look at app.optimism.io forward slash bridge. It'll take you to this. And basically, you want to have some funds in a wallet like MetaMask and connect with a blockchain that you have those funds on. Let's just say Ethereum, for example. And then you basically move some tokens from like Ethereum to Optimism. Now, this takes a little bit of time and there is a delayed withdrawal period if you want to remove funds off the networks. Full disclosure here, there's always risk with using bridges. You know, don't use any money that you need back now or, you know, that you're comfortable potentially uh, having compromised. So that's definitely step one is just to get on the network, but then you need to start actually using it, okay? Of course, you know, doing some transactions, sending cryptocurrency between wallets. But, you know, there's lots of different applications and there's some ideas on what you can do. Okay, so you can look at app.optimism.io forward slash quests. This is basically like a series where you can go in there and start doing things and you earn NFTs. Now, season one of Optimism Quests has already been completed. That might also be part of the eligibility for this coming airdrop. But again, there's still more future airdrops. The whole idea is becoming a regular user of the network to increase the likelihood of those ongoing rewards. And they're going to have another season coming up soon. Just follow them on Twitter to find what they're, when, when that is. But I digress. The whole point is here, this is like, it'll show you what you can do, even if you're not earning the NFTs for this. So it shows you how to bridge to optimism, you know, how to, how to do prizes, how to use things like pool, you know, Uniswap. Basically, it's all these different dApps on top of the network are, are kind of incentivizing you to use their applications, but they're just going to train you how to do it. And if you do these types of things, even if it's not part of the quest, that's going to boost your account activity and teach you how to use the network and increase your eligibility potential. And so that is a really good starting point for that. Now, we talked about the Optimism upgrade, why it's such a big deal, you know, the potential for airdrop after this, okay, what you can do to position yourself for that. Now, let's go back into the dirty details of the upgrade itself, because there's lots of people going like, hey, what does this thing even do? So from a high level, the benefits are that it reduces the layer one to layer two deposit times by over four times. So you're going to get onto the network a lot faster, okay? It's going to slash the cost of data submissions to L1 by 20%, making that cheaper, Okay and cuts the difference with Geth down to a slim 500 lines of code and supports any number of alternative proof systems, including zero knowledge proofs. So let's talk about those one by one. So basically reducing L1 to L2 deposit times by over 4X, that's a no-brainer, it's just faster. Same thing for cost of submitting data to L1, it's a no-brainer. But let's talk about the difference between Geth uh, versus this. So Geth is the main client for Ethereum. And basically what's happening here is it's making Optimism work a lot more like Ethereum itself, because right now there's some significant differences, okay? So for example, you know, on Optimism, we're going to have the inclusion of EIP-1559. So that was the upgrade that happened to Ethereum layer one where they turned on the fee burning, where basically whenever you send transactions, like part of your, uh, you know, if, if part of your transaction fee gets burnt and erased from the network, that's part of the deflationary pressure for ETH because it's getting burned when the transaction is actually created. And if more ETH is burned than is issued by the blockchain, that's what makes the asset uh, negative issuance or deflationary over time. And Optimism is updating their protocol to include EIP-1559 to break that up into a base fee and also a priority fee. Now, it's slightly different because they don't actually burn the Ether. There's no way to natively do that on the layer two. So instead, they send that back to the network operators themselves. And then finally, let's look back at this uh, number of alternative proof systems, including zero knowledge proofs. OK, so right now, Optimism is called, the, called an optimistic rollup scaling solution. OK, that's Arbitrum and Optimism are. But there's other types of scaling solutions called uh, zero knowledge rollups. And the entire industry is kind of coalescing about that being the long term solution for layer two scaling of blockchains. And from my understanding, this upgrade is this is laying a brick in the foundation for optimism to support that in full force in the future. There's the thought that a lot of the optimistic rollup solutions are going to be migrating towards zero knowledge based solutions in the future, or at least offering some type of way to do that. And this to me looks like a big step in the right direction. All right. So that's an overview of the optimism bedrock upgrade coming in Q3 of 2023. Why this is such a big deal and how you could potentially get some free cryptocurrency out of this opportunity. 
So I hope you liked this video. As always, smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. That really helps these videos out so then more people can learn about blockchain and we can carry this to mass adoption. And if you like this video and you're just as fast at this technology as I am, you know, you want to get your hands dirty, how can you get started today? You can go to my YouTube homepage. You can find those free courses there. They like getting me courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those and you want to take the next step or hey, maybe you want to take a master shortcut entirely, I can become a blockchain master step-by-step start to finish, break in the industry, increase your salary past 100K over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. Okay, you have to be an expert to get started right now. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.